the company needs 450,000 items per year. It costs $120 to prepare a production run. This time we have $5 variable cost mm -hmm. per item for production and 75 cents for storage per item. That's per item per year, and it would be pro prorated. Find the number of items that should be produced in each run. So it's the batch sizes that we're trying to optimize. If we do 5,000 at a time, the number of runs needed will be the total items needed. Lock that in place. Divided by 5,000 per run, I'd need 90 runs. So prepping those would be 90 runs times, lock this in place, $120 per run. Items in storage, on average, is half of the batch. Storage cost then would be, for each item, it's going to cost 75 cents of storage. Lock that constant reference in place. Variable cost is $5.00. Per, per item times by, that's for each of the 450,000 items. And then the total cost is going to be variable cost, so producing the items and storing and prepping. So 2.26 million. Okay, then what if you make bigger batches? Up to 75,000, carry this across. So the total cost, 2.2592, 260, 61, 66. That looks like it's getting more expensive. So it got less expensive and then more expensive. And note, notice though that the variable cost here always stayed the same because it was always 450,000 items needed and $5 each. So those variable costs don't do anything. Um, they don't affect where the minimum is going to happen. So I'm going to have just the cost of storage and prep. Prep costs plus storage costs. Just because it'll be easier to show. So 2.25 million variable cost and then 12,000 of additional cost to make my total cost. This is the only part that's changing is the storage and prep costs. And it just makes it easier to read. So somewhere in here is where the minimum happens. So let me take a row I don't need like this one and use solver on this. Set the cost to a minimum by changing the number of items per run. You know, I've run into an error, and I think it's likely because I started at 75,000 in here, and I know that that's really far away from where my minimum happens because I can see up here that it's getting smaller, and I could also graph it. The minimum happened somewhere back here, more like 10 or 15,000. And Solver will start hunting at whatever cell is in that starting point. So let me just, let's take the starting value closer to where I think the minimum happened and let's try Solver again. Set the cost to a minimum by changing the number of units and solve. See, this time I found a solution. It makes sense in my graph. There it is, that point got added in, and it makes sense in my data. 